early 20th century, the scientific world was captivated by the notion of unearthing ancient human ancestors. Among the many bold theories that emerged during this era was the idea of Homo pampianus, an ancient human species native to the Pampas region of Argentina. At the heart of this hypothesis was Argentine archaeologist Florentino Ameghino, a man of wide-ranging knowledge, whose work straddled paleontology, archaeology, and anthropology. An Argentinian documentary on Ameghino labeled him the crazy man with the bones. While Ameghino's ideas were groundbreaking for their time, the eventual debunking of Homo Pampianus by the Smithsonian Institution in 1912 revealed not only the flaws in his theory, but also the broader challenges of early paleoanthropological research. Ameghino was a towering figure in South American science, renowned for his encyclopedic knowledge and ambitious hypotheses. Born in Italy but raised in Argentina, Ameghino's fascination with the prehistoric past led him to collect fossils from the Pampas, a vast grassland region teeming with paleontological riches. Ameghino believed that South America was the cradle of human evolution, a bold counterpoint to the prevailing theories that placed humanity's origins in Europe or Asia. In his magnum opus, La Antigüedad del Hombre en el Plata, The Antiquity of Man in the Plata, Ameghino argued that the Pampas had been home to a distinct species of early humans, which he named Homo Pampeanus. He based this claim on an assemblage of skeletal remains and stone tools, which he interpreted as evidence of ancient prehistoric activity. Ameghino's theory challenged mainstream anthropology and placed Argentina at the forefront of human evolutionary studies, at least temporarily. The fossil remains of Homo Pampeanus were thought to date back to one million years ago. Ameghino believed these fossils represented an early human species that lived in the Pampas region of Argentina. However, studies and re-examinations of Ameghino's findings concluded that the fossils he attributed to Homo Pampeanus were misidentified. They were recognized as either belonging to Native Americans or as fossilized remains of non-human species, for example, extinct animals. Additionally, his dating methods were speculative and unreliable by modern standards. Thus, the concept of Homo Pampeanus as a distinct ancient human species has been largely discredited. Ameghino's findings were largely derived from extensive fieldwork in the Pampas, where he unearthed a range of fossils. Among these were skulls and bones that he attributed to Homo Pampeanus. Ameghino described this supposed species as an early ancestor of modern humans, contemporaneous with extinct megafauna such as giant ground sloths and saber-toothed cats. He argued that Homo Pampeanus exhibited anatomical features that linked it to both modern humans and earlier hominins, situating it as a crucial transitional species. In the early 1900 AS, Ameghino's work gained international attention, sparking debates among anthropologists and paleontologists. His theory resonated with a broader nationalist narrative in Argentina, as it suggested that the country's prehistoric past was as significant as that of Europe or Asia. Nonetheless, Ameghino's conclusions were based on limited evidence, and his interpretations often lacked the rigorous analytical methods that would later become standard in paleoanthropology. By the early 1910s, Ameghino's theory of Homo Pampianus had attracted significant scrutiny. In 1910, researchers from the Smithsonian Institution conducted a comprehensive review of Ameghino's claims. Led by Alish Herdlicker, a prominent and controversial anthropologist, the Smithsonian team examined the fossil evidence that Ameghino had used to support his hypothesis. Herdlicker's analysis was meticulous, combining comparative anatomy and stratigraphy to evaluate the validity of Homo Pampianus. A pivotal moment in the debunking of Homo Pampianus occurred at a major scientific conference held in Buenos Aires in 1910. This gathering brought together leading experts in anthropology, paleontology and archaeology from across the globe. Over several days, the conference participants reviewed Ameghino's fossil collection, including the skulls and skeletal remains he had attributed to Homo Pampeanus. Through detailed examination, the scientists determined that the skulls were anatomically modern human remains and not as ancient as claimed. The conference's conclusions were a significant blow to Ameghino's hypothesis and reputation. It became clear that many of the fossils had been found in secondary contexts, where ancient and modern remains had become mixed due to geological processes. Furthermore, the supposed tools associated with Homo Pampeanus were found to be natural formations or artifacts of more recent indigenous populations. 
These findings undermined Amagino's assertion that the Pampas had been home to a unique and ancient human species. The Smithsonian's findings were unequivocal. Some of Amagino's so-called ancient human fossils were misidentified remains of extinct animals, including glyptodonts and giant ground sloths. Herdlicker concluded that there was no evidence to support the existence of Homo pampeanus or any other early human species in the Pampas. Thus, Amagino was disgraced and died in 1912, his life's work having been completely dismissed by mainstream academic circles. The debunking of Homo pampeanus marked a turning point in the history of paleoanthropology. While Amagino's ideas were ultimately discredited, his work underscored the need for systematic methodologies and collaborative research in the field. Amagino's contributions to the study of South American paleontology, including his descriptions of extinct fauna and his emphasis on the continent's prehistoric significance, remain influential even as his anthropological theories have faded into obscurity. Another layer of intrigue surrounding Amagino's work involves the theory that a skull his boss, Francisco Moreno, sent to the British Museum of Natural History in 1899, may have later played a role in the infamous Piltdown Man hoax. Piltdown Man, discovered in England in the summer of 1912, coincidentally the same month that Amagino died, was initially celebrated as a groundbreaking link between apes and humans, but was later revealed to be a fraudulent combination of a 500-year-old modern human skull and an orangutan jaw. According to the theory, the human component of Piltdown Man, the skull, could have originated from an owner skull, named after the indigenous owner people of Patagonia. Amagino had collected numerous skulls from this region, and some were sent abroad for study. If the skull used in the Piltdown forgery indeed came from Amagino's collection, it would add a dark twist to the history of both Homo Pampeanus and Piltdown Man, linking two of the most controversial episodes in early anthropology. While definitive proof of this connection is lacking, the idea underscores the global networks through which human remains and fossils circulated during this era. It also raises questions about the ethical and scientific practices of the time, as the indiscriminate collection and exchange of indigenous remains often involved little regard for their origins or cultural significance. The controversy surrounding Homo pampeanus also highlights the ethical dilemmas of early anthropological research. The looting of indigenous burial sites and the misidentification of fossils reflect the broader tensions between scientific curiosity and cultural sensitivity. Today, there is a growing recognition of the need to involve indigenous communities in archaeological research and to respect their rights to their ancestral remains. The story of Homo Pampinus is a cautionary tale about the pitfalls of overzealous theorizing and the dangers of drawing conclusions from incomplete evidence. Florentino Amagino's ambition and vision were remarkable, but his work ultimately fell short of the scientific rigor required to substantiate his claims. The Smithsonian's intervention in 1912 and the critical review at the Buenos Aires conference brought an end to the Homo Pampeanus hypothesis, but they also underscored the importance of critical inquiry and methodological rigor in the study of human evolution. The pursuit of ancient human fossils in Argentina and neighboring regions was not limited to Amagino. During the late 19th and early 20th centuries, European and American institutions engaged in what can only be described as a frenzy of grave robbing and skull collecting. Indigenous burial sites in Patagonia were frequently looted, often under the guise of scientific research. Skulls and skeletons were shipped to museums in Europe and the United States, where they were studied, displayed, and stored in vast collections. These activities were deeply controversial, as they frequently disregarded the spiritual significance of the remains to indigenous communities. The actions of explorers and scientists often blurred the line between legitimate research and outright plunder. In this context, Amagino's work, although framed as a quest for scientific understanding, was part of a broader pattern of exploitation that prioritized the interests of Western science over the rights of indigenous peoples. As we continue to explore the mysteries of our ancient past, the lessons of Homo Pampeanus remain relevant. They remind us that the search for our origins is as much about questioning assumptions and challenging biases as it is about uncovering bones and artifacts. In the end, the truth of human evolution is not confined to any one region or theory, 
but lies in the collective endeavor of science to uncover the story of our shared humanity. Thank you for watching to the end, sharing, subscribing to the channel and liking the video.